Humphrey Bogart once claimed that Gina Lala Brigida made Marilyn Monroe look like Shirley Temple. Somehow, this Italian legend's life was even crazier than that. With legendary suitors, endless lawsuits, rivalries, battles with tycoons, political ambitions, boy toys, rivalries, and so much more. Now we're going to discover her untold story. Subscribe to the channel to see more rare photos and stories. She was a naughty kid. Gina's father was stiflingly traditional and banned her from going to the cinema. But this couldn't stop Gina, a rebel with her own scandalous cause. She'd sneak into theaters and secretly watch films from behind the curtains. Above all, Gina had a fascination with love scenes and even convinced the projectionist to give her copies of the tantalizing scenes. The young girl had no clue that she held her own destiny in her hands. She was an innocent victim. One day, a young Gina came home to the shock of her life. There were Germans occupying her family's residence. During World War II, they invaded Gina's small Italian town. Just like that, the Lola Brigida's comfortable life and livelihoods vanished into thin air. This occupation was already a nightmare. Tragically, it got even worse. She ran away. Gina and her family fled with only what they could carry. They slept outdoors, scavenged for food, and barely evaded secret mines. Her parents took any work they could find and struggled to support the family. In the wake of this scrambling nightmare, a silver lining appeared. Gina was ecstatic after earning a singing scholarship at a prestigious performing arts school. But then the universe dealt her another problem. She fell in love at first sight. On New Year's 1947, Gina Lala Brigida met Milko Skofik, a handsome doctor seven years her senior. The young beauty was familiar with being loved. But after just one night with this man, everything changed. Now, Lala Brigida was doing the pining and yearning. That night, she came home and wrote about her dreams of marrying him. New year, new love. Sadly, nothing was as it seemed. They didn't take her seriously. Gina Lala Brigida didn't take any comfort in compliments about her beauty. In fact, she was sick of everyone focusing on her appearance. The burgeoning star knew she had so much more to offer. Once again, her stunning looks became both an asset and a burden. However, if Gina went looking for support, she couldn't find any at home. She had an unsupportive husband. Sadly, Gina's own husband didn't believe in her. Milko even tried to talk her out of acting altogether. He didn't believe she would be successful. It seemed like the world was against her. But Gina wasn't just a pretty face. She was bold and brave. These doubters motivated her. And more than anything, she wanted to prove everyone wrong. Gina just needed the right role. When Hollywood came calling, it seemed like a golden twist of fate. She attracted a Hollywood legend. Gina became a star. We know that now. But her path to Hollywood was more than a little creepy. It was lust at first sight when Howard Hughes came across a photograph of a bikini La Gina Lola Brigida. She was 23. He was 44. The movie boss enticed Lola Brigida with an invitation for a screen test in Hollywood. She accepted as long as he also provided a ticket for her husband. Hughes agreed. But it all seemed too good to be true. Could she really trust this notorious man? She fell for it. Turns out, no. Last minute, the mogul only provided Gina with one ticket instead of the promised two. She faced a huge dilemma. After all, Hughes was a Hollywood power player. He could make or break her international career. The actress wanted, no, needed a breakout role. But what price was she willing to pay? Her husband let her go. Howard Hughes was a womanizer whose sordid affairs with actresses weren't exactly secret. He wasn't offering Gina this incredible opportunity out of the goodness of his heart. However, Gina got support from a shocking place. Her husband Milko encouraged her to go on this long trip without him. The last thing the doctor wanted was his wife's blame or resentment. While no one expected Hughes to respect Gina's marriage vows, Milko did. They trusted each other. He made a risky gamble and sent his young wife off to the lion's den. She became a prisoner. When Gina Lala Brigida landed in Los Angeles, she brought her luggage, but most importantly, her ambition. The moment she landed, Hughes agents whisked her off to a luxurious hotel suite with staff on hand at her beck and call. This all, expenses trip seemed like a dream, but it was actually a gilded prison. Hughes stationed guards outside her room, not to protect her, but to bar her from going anywhere without him. He even blocked her phone calls, but his deception didn't end there. She was at his mercy. Gina flew all the way to Hollywood and subjected herself to Hughes' domination, only to be disappointed. 
The situation was even more unsettling than she thought. Turns out there was no screen test waiting for her. Hughes had no interest in boosting her career unless she paid the heftiest price imaginable. The only scene Hughes gave her was a divorce scene. Subtle. His true intentions were obvious, and so, so shady, she fought off advances. Gina saw Hughes every day, but as his virtual prisoner, it wasn't by choice. It was clear Hughes was more interested in her body than her acting chops. He made relentless propositions daily. The scandal and allure of the industry tested her, but Gina passed. Turns out, the good doctor's faith was not misplaced. She even rejected Hughes for the most unbelievable reason she signed an awful deal. Like so many actresses before and after her, Hughes took advantage of Gina, but not in the way you're thinking of. Before she left, Hughes threw her a farewell party. He made sure she had one too many drink. Then he presented the tipsy woman, who struggled with English even while sober, with a contract. Hughes promised her it was for something innocent, and she acquiesced. Turns out Gina Lola Brigida had signed a deal with the devil. She made a powerful enemy. If Hughes couldn't own Gina's body, her career would do. Thanks to this contract, she couldn't work with anyone but him in America. For years, he obstructed her American career. He didn't give her any opportunities. Not that she would have accepted them anyway. Understandably, other American studios were reluctant to cross this legend. As a result, Gina's American career struggled and remained in limbo for a decade. Tragically, the powerful man duping the younger woman is a tale as old as time. But Hughes didn't know he'd finally met his match. She found a loophole. Gina was strong, willed enough that the prospect of Hughes winning was intolerable. After all, she'd done nothing wrong. Yet he punished her for honoring her marriage. So she came up with a genius plan. Fortunately, Gina discovered a loophole that allowed her to appear in American films. Hughes couldn't stop her from filming American films outside of the country. Even with these challenges, she pushed forward, and the universe finally rewarded her in massive weight. She found a loophole. Gina was strong, willed enough that the prospect of Hughes winning was intolerable. After all, she'd done nothing wrong, yet he punished her for honoring her marriage. So she came up with a genius plan. Fortunately, Gina discovered a loophole that allowed her to appear in American films. Hughes couldn't stop her from filming American films outside of the country. Even with these challenges, she pushed forward, and the universe finally rewarded her in massive ways. Gina Lala Brigida had an incredible life story and even more facts you need to know. Write in the comments if you would like to see the second part of the story about Gina. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos.